Even after all these years, there's still no integrated way to compress videos on your iPhone. You can change video size before you start recording, but once that's done, then you'll need a third party app to help you. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to compress videos on your iPhone. With the release of every new iPhone, Apple has continued to emphasize the strength of its camera app. Everything from the sensor to megapixels to new features gets at least some stage time at every Apple event announcing new iPhones. As these features are released and cameras improve, so too does the resulting photo and video sizes. When you capture more and more content, you are taking up more space on your iPhone. If you're not careful, you can run out of space. While you can easily transfer videos off the iPhone, another easy fix is to reduce video size through compression. Here's how to compress videos on your iPhone. There is no default method. One thing should be clear from the start. Any steps to compress video size on the iPhone will be done through third party applications. There is no default method from Apple to do this. The only thing you can do on your iPhone is reduce the original video size. Go to settings and camera on your iPhone and find the option for record video. Tap on it and find six different possible options for recording video. You will see a few options on a non 4K phone. At the bottom of the screen, Apple included a note about how much storage space a video will take up with each setting. If you want to compress your video from the get-go by starting small, choose one of the bottom two options. Use Video Compress App One of the most popular solutions to compress videos directly on your iPhone is an app called Video Compress. Available for free, the app has two paid options to remove ads and compress an unlimited number of videos. Beyond its cost, the app is one of the easiest solutions to save space on your iPhone. Once you have it installed, open the Video Compress app and tap on the giant plus button. After hitting the plus button, the app will ask permission to access your photos. Go ahead and say OK. The app will then show you the list of all your available videos. Choose the video you want to compress by tapping on it. You can select just one video or tap on multiple videos to compress them at the same time. You must now select the level of compression you want for each video. There are multiple presets enabling you to choose everything from Full HD 28.6 megabytes per minute to 360p video quality 3.6 megabytes per minute. You can also adjust the bitrate with a higher bitrate equaling better quality and more space. When you've made your selection you can either preview the video at the reduced size or hit continue to move on. Finally, you have the choice of keeping the original video or deleting it and keeping only the newly resized video. Tap on finish if you want to lose the original and complete the entire process. Looking at the resized video in the photo app shouldn't show much of a change. Most people don't know the difference between 4K, 1080p or 1080p, 720p. Anyway, you're now free to share the video on your social channels, friends and family or just enjoy the freed up space on your iPhone. Using online apps. If you don't have problems with the internet connection and data cap, you could use one of the online video compression services. As with the video compression apps, there are many available. For example, Video Smaller allows you to reduce video size by either uploading to their server or by pointing to the video URL, as long as the size doesn't exceed 500 megabytes. The service also allows you to resize the video and supports a wide range of video file formats. Other compression options. If the above methods don't work for you to compress your videos on your iPhone, there are dozens of other video compression apps on the App Store waiting in the wings. All of them achieve the same goal and mostly with the same set of options. There are a finite ways to shrink a video, specifically as it relates to what outputs you choose, 1080, 720, 480, etc. Outside of the App Store, you can always move videos over to your Mac or Windows machine and use a third-party desktop application like for example Handbrake to shrink video files. Links to that in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.